Over the past decade, Hunkos Racing has proven to be one of the most powerful teams in North American motorsports. Their endless perseverance and undying passion for the sport that is racing are values that any racing team wishes they had. It is this set of values that has put Hunkos Racing on the 2018 IndyCar grid. Ricardo Hunkos and his team are known for dominating the Mazda road to Indy. But running in Indy is a whole different level. I think the Indy 500 is something that to be part of, that's the victory. You, 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 you start that race and you're part of the 33 cars and some of the teams, you're part of that group, that's already an achievement. When Ricardo first brought up the uh, idea of doing the Indy 500 in February, March last year, I thought that was a massive undertaking. It usually takes uh, teams easily six months to a year to bring that size of project together for one car, let alone two cars. Nobody asked me, straightforward from IndyCar, Ricardo, please do it, too. But I read the message and I thought about it and said, I have to do two. Without, nobody needs to tell me, this is not going to be good for, for IndyCar at one moment. If I'm going to do one, let's do another one. We had the, the equipment to do it. Obviously, the challenge was to find the people in so short time, and, and that's what we did. It's not like I just sit down in a piece of paper and I put all the calculations and, and do the mathematics and say, okay, this makes sense. Probably if I did that, I wouldn't do it. <laughs> but this is just how sometimes I work. In the period of time that I've worked for Hunkos Racing, we, I've observed the team grow from a pro miles operation into now contending for IndyCar. Uh, you've seen team professionals develop, drivers develop into champions, which is uh, one of the mantras of Hunkos Racing. Well, I think that it's very important. It's a big benefit for the whole organization here at Juncos to have an IndyCar team. It's a motivation for the young drivers that race with us. It's a motivation for all our crew members from the lower series, and it's a motivation for our young engineers. Having all this here the, under the same roof, I think it's a benefit for, for everybody. If other teams try to do multiple programs, meaning in this case the Mazda Road to Indy and the Indy cars, it can be destructive. Can be so the resources and everything can be so consuming that the other programs suffer. But it done properly, if you have the right people and the right leadership, it becomes something to aspire to. The dream to be an IndyCar has always been in Ricardo's blood, but now that it has turned into reality, Hunkos Racing must put forth immense effort to find results. Ricardo and his team faces this challenge like they do any other, with determination and hard work. He never stops pushing, and I think that this is just the start of he's going to establish himself and this team as a, like a full-time big IndyCar teams in the future. What we've been able to do here under Ricardo's guidance is just each time we go out, we want to be better. And if we keep doing that race by race, the team is going to grow in strength. To get to a multi-car team, you have to have that. If you overreach and you run two cars and you haven't got the chemistry, you haven't got the systems, it's not going to work. It'll work for a year, and we've seen race teams do that. Maybe it'll work for two years, but if you want to, if you want to be around for 5, 10, 15 years and be like a Roger Penske, it'll be like a Penske operation, you have to grow steadily. I started with him in 2012. I mean, the fact that Ricardo, I remember him telling me at one point, you know, hey, start tweeting Penske that we're coming after them. How in, you know, seven seasons now, how much we've been able to grow that quickly without having all the support sponsorship-wise and everything, the way that Ricardo's been able to translate that and make us grow still, it's endless where we're gonna go. Ricardo, it just bleeds passion. This, you know this is exactly where he wants to be. And you could tell he feels very fortunate to be doing this. There's not a moment where you feel like he's better than you for being here. He's very grateful for the opportunity to be here. And everybody wants to work so hard for him because he's out there. He's, he's willing to get his hands dirty and work on the cars just like anybody else. 
And I think that gets the most out of everybody. There's been times where racing is ups and downs, right? So the, the moment he sees that, like if there's a lack of motivation, he'll come right in and be like, look guys, it's not that bad. We can do this, we can pull through. And that's what we do. Like I always say, this is always a group of people to make something happen, always. We need each other in the family. So you always start with the family. So whatever is the family values as a, as a whole in life, I apply that system to the business. Ricky became like a second father to Kyle. I think Kyle looked up to Ricardo. Ricardo has, you know, taken Kyle under his wing and shown that, uh, you know, he can create uh, a champion. I don't think there's words that can describe what it's like to have the opportunity to race in the Indy 500. But I think racing for Hunkos and having this experience that I've had with them has prepared me for the opportunity. Everything we do, we do with so much passion. When you do something like that much, and when you des the desire and the passion go to a level so high, you, everybody gets in the same mode. So, and that's what I always say, it's a group of people, but everybody has to be in the same syntax, in the same philosophy. And I think it, this is one of the situations that happen in this team. So what I feel, everybody's feeling. And when we achieve the goal, everybody feels the same emotions. I cannot be more proud of everything he went through and uh, survive and be here in the show. He can do this. He's just, for me, the perfect guy. <laughs> We're not gonna stop. This, this is just the beginning. We're gonna keep going. That's why it's so important. That's why it's so big for us, for Junko, for the Junko's family. I don't, I don't try to think like, okay, we are there, it's done. We made it. We're on the big cars, the big series. This is not the end. Hunkos Racing is about to face one of the most competitive seasons they've ever encountered. But just like they've done before, they will not give up the fight. They will continue to show their worth and proven potential as they compete against the best of the best in IndyCar.